Hey, today is uh, what, the 9th, September, 8th, 8th of September. Uh, I'm up here at Red Top again. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking and uh, going through some things physically. Uh, I've been exercising every day for about an hour or more, an hour and 20, something like that. I walk every other day up here at Red Top with a 8 to 12 pound pack on uh, Things were going okay, but I noticed as, as, as I would bend over to take pictures when I go stand up, I would just about pass out. So I knew my blood pressure was dropping. So uh, I finally made an appointment to see the doctor. And I uh, went in there, and it, even after all I'd done, busy morning and all that stuff, I got the doctor's office still like 105 over 60. I asked too low, so he dropped one of my blood pressure medications. And um, the day bef two days before that, I was just, it was terrible. I just I was st stand up off the couch. I get dizzy, thought I was going to fall. I tried to walk, and I thought, you know, man, I was not going to make it for a couple of days. When I was walking, I was like, I'm just not going to make it through this little three mile section. But thanks to the good Lord today, uh, apparently that medication is worn off, and I feel so much better. I'm only at the four mile mark today, but I feel good enough to go for the 13 miles. So uh, I got time. It's a beautiful day. It's overcast, so it's cool. We've got a nice breeze. So I think I'm going to do it. Got a couple of pictures still in here. Nothing special. Uh, it's been a quiet morning. A lot of people yeah, around. It's Friday. So uh, anyway, got my shoes off and uh, taking a little break here. And get rested up and hit the restroom and do some stretching and then get back on the trail. If I see something of interest, I'll, I'll show it to you. Well, I made it to 7.3 miles on the Iron Hill Trail. I haven't been out here in a long time. So I'm feeling good. Got a few aches and pains. Took some uh, vitamin I for that. Uh, see how we do. Sitting up here on this old picnic table where I normally take a break at. Uh, turn around and see my world. Where I'm looking at. Quiet out here now. Yeah, just what a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm feeling good. A couple of aches and pains, and uh, about halfway, I guess. I got a long way back to the truck. But I'm just thankful to God I'm out here today and enjoying His beautiful creation. I'm able to enjoy the health of, to be here. So, here comes the weekend. And I can, I, my heart goes out to all you poor folks that are still working. I hope one day you can retire and uh, find something you like to do that that's just relaxing and, and uh, have time to think and not live in, uh, in the rat race. You know, I think about how it used to be out here. This used to be the campgrounds for the uh, Corps of Engineer. There's all these picnic tables and, and grills and things like I've shown you before in some of the older videos. Um... Every time I come out here, I think about the history here and how many people, when they were kids, got yeah. grew up camping here and enjoyed it here and had fun, playing in the water in the lake, riding in the boat, uh, camping out with the parents and siblings. I can almost smell the grill smoke from the hamburgers and the hot dogs being cooked out here. And, uh, one thing that gets me is when I look around at these campsites, I'm trying to figure out exactly where the campsite was. <laughs> Not a lot of flat spots. There's maybe a tent spot up there. So I imagine some of this is tents, some of it's trailer camping, but I don't know. So many people who grew up in this area might know. Um, but anyway, I'm sure there was a lot of people that have a lot of fond memories of this area. Uh, but now I'll tell you what, um, I know the people are gone, the camping's not here anymore, and the sound of children you don't hear anymore that I, I value the serenity and the quiet and peacefulness around the lake here. And being able to come out here and walk in nature without hearing a lot of noise. And I got something to show you right quick. Let me take a picture of this and I'll be back. <laughs> For those of you who are too young to remember, that's a, a pull top from like a beer can or a Coke can or something. Uh, those things have so, I see another one I didn't see before. 
those things have so littered the earth. It's just unbelievable. You go anywhere where people have been and you link the tie and you'll see these pull ties. I see three right now, right here. And that's those things. I'm trying to think when they quit using them, the 80s maybe. Somebody tell me that. So, <laughs> thought it was funny. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go and see a little spider climb. <laughs> And uh, she's only about 10, 15 feet off the trail. E, whatever. And, uh, yeah. I said, hey, baby. I'm not going to bother you. You don't have to run off. <laughs> and it looked at me and it goes, <laughs> crack me up. Mom, I said, where's mama? <laughs> He's trying to look at me. She looked at me kind of funny. I looked up and saw her standing there, just beyond her, the baby. It was cute. The gyro spiders are getting schooled on building the webs out in the, in the middle of the trail. Uh, people, <laughs> people keep knock, knocking the web down. They're building them high. And uh, somebody knocks down one of their support webs and they just build up higher. <laughs> Which is good. I, so I'm good with that. As long as they're overhead, I'm not worried about it. Uh, yeah, it kind of shot me back there, the dinosaur nest. I've never seen a dinosaur nest. I didn't know T-Rex built their, I think it was a T-Rex, built their nest in a whole bunch of abandoned bird boxes, but apparently they do. So y'all be aware of that. What really scared me is not the T-Rex, was that mama's around here somewhere. Better get out of here. 